everyone and welcome to this little tutorial today it is about 7 30 in the morning and I told myself I don't need to uh, appear on camera today I'm just gonna do a tutorial for this uh, little medley but here I am saying hello I just can't resist saying hello to you all thank you so much for watching this video I'm so excited to present this to you um, these are three medieval dance tunes that I have just been absolutely obsessed with they were in various books that I had and I had um, listened to a really cool performance of a VL player play this um, I'll link that below and it just really inspired me so I've been playing them playing them playing them and showing them to my students and everyone on patreon and I can't stop playing them and so I thought well I need to just put them all in one place so here is this arrangement um, you could also use this tutorial to just try to learn by ear as well learning by ear is such a great skill to have um, especially if you learn by reading uh, you also want to try to develop your learning by ear as well. I am not a medieval musician, um, so what I'm going to try to do is get the sound um, as much as I can of a medieval instrument and knowing that these are dance tunes I'm going to try and make it sound as dancey as possible. So for me to do that, it's best for me to do that in the lower part of the bow. So watch how my arm is moving and kind of listen to the sound that I'm getting. I'm trying to make it be bouncy and light and fun and energized. And I'm trying to emphasize the right uh, dance beats. <laughs> so for my imaginary clog dancers. So one, two. <laughs> If you do that in the upper half of the bow, you know, a lot of fiddle players actually do play in the upper part of the bow. Um, but I just am not the best at getting the right sound there, or at least I just don't like it. So let me just compare so that you can hear the difference. <laughs> different uh, sound. Maybe you can't distinguish the difference at all. So you just figure out where it's most easy for you to play. Um, on a side note, you can also make this sound really cool by adding your open string drone. So if your melody is on the D string, add open A. If your melody goes to the G string, add open D. amazing I just love that so that is the first part the second part if you're looking at the music is measure nine and I put a little fingering to begin so you can keep this all on one string and then you can also if you're doing the drone play the open um, a string drone with it I'm gonna leave that out just for this first time through so <laughs> With the drone, I'm gonna add open A. In the music, there's this little tiny squiggly line like a little mustache over measure 9, 10, 11. And that's called a mordant. Mordant. And sometimes you have the squiggly line with a line through that. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. If it's just a squiggly line, it's the note that's written with a little flick to the upper note in the right hand pattern for the key. So we've got an F sharp, so that's why I'm going to an F sharp and not an F natural. If there's a little squiggly line with a line through the middle, it's to the lower neighbor. We don't have any of those squiggly lines with a line through the middle of it. But uh, anyway, so now you know. 
Let's take a look at the third section. This is where it really takes off. It's like a horse galloping. Remember, it's called the horse's brawl. So with, with my tambourine, I'm going to just notate every beat. So... <laughs> fun I really love that and then we get to the beginning again so we're back to the first section it repeats back there and I've got a little grace note because we just came from we'll keep that there and then just roll over and if you've got your drone second section and since we've got first finger down there just keep it there and roll over <laughs> to the second one. We'll save that for uh, the second video. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, I hope this was at least an interesting introduction to the piece, that you'll tinker around with it, and I will see you next time where we look at the second dance.